Hi, welcome to your video on cylinders, specifically finding surface area and volume. Your I can statement is I will be able to find the surface area and the volume for any cylinder. Before we get started, finding volume and you need to understand the vocabulary that goes with it. Um, a cylinder is a 3D shape made up of two circles as the basis and a rectangle in the middle part, which is called the lateral. Surface area is the sum of all the areas of the bases and lateral faces of a 3D figure. Um, this is oftentimes, you'll also see it referred to as wrapping paper. Okay, so wrapping paper is what surface area is. If you were to cover the present um, completely, how much of the wrapping paper would you need? Okay. The formula for surface area is SA equals pH plus 2P, um, which is found in your formula sheet. Volume is the number of cubic units needed to fill up the 3D figure. Um, in other words, like filling up um, with water. How much water would you need to fill the entire object? And the volume formula which can also be found on your formula sheet, is V equals BH. So how did the formulas come to be? That's our first question on the left-hand side of your notes, and we have the same picture that we're going to fill out. Um, so what I did is kind of took a cylinder and I kind of unrolled it, or if I were to unwrap all that wrapping paper perfectly, it would look like this. Um, so you, you can see your two bases here. Um, we have two circles, used this one and this one for basis, um, and then we have what's called lateral area, and that is what ends up being a rectangular shape. Um, that's kind of the, that, um, the height unraveled, so we're going to label that here as our height, um, and then on the circle, that's where we can find our radius. Um, that's also where we can find our diameter. So the is from circles. Uh, and last but not least, on the circle we have circumference. And circumference is the distance around the outside. So that's our circumference. But what happens to that lateral area when we unroll that, it's actually measuring your, your circumference as well here. So that's your circumference as well. Um, is all of that unwrapped. So now that we understand where it comes from, we're going to tweak those formulas a little bit. Um, the first one we have is the surface area formula, which is SA equals pH plus 2B. And we're going to change that. So P stands for perimeter, but we know that the perimeter of a cylinder is called circumference. So we're going to use CH plus 2. for volume. Volume formula is V equals BH, but we know that the base is the area of a circle, so we're going to use AH. And that works really handy because now we can take um, and use the formulas of C and A that we already know and change them even further. So the C is I and diameter. And then
I can't forget about just site to twenty one plus two and three with pi r squared. So times three point one four times r, which is half of the diameter. So times five times five. And then with surface area, you actually have to chunk because of order of operations. So you're going to have to take that 3.14 times 10 times 21 first. And you get 659.4. And then you have to chunk again and take the 2 times 3.14 times 5 times 5. And that will give you 157. So once you've multiplied both, then you can add together to find your surface area. So add those up. And your surface area answer ends up being 816.4. Um, and then we're talking about feet. And surface area is area, so it's going to be squared. There's our answer. We're going to move on to volume. And remember, volume is um, V equals AH, because we changed it. And A is pi r squared. So we're going to start with that 3.14 times r, which is 5. 5, and then don't forget to times h at the end, so times 21. We'll type all that in our calculator and get our answer. And our volume ends up being 1,648.5 feet. Volume is cubed. So there's our answer. All right, we're going to try another one. This time there's no picture, we're just giving information. Um, we can still fill it in. So Looks like our diameter is 10, which means our radius is going to be 5 inches. And then we need to find the volume of the surface area again. So SA equals CH plus 2A. C, remember, is circumference, so 3.14 times diameter, which is 10, times height, which in this one is 14, plus 2, and then an A. A is pi squared, so times 3.14, times R, which is 5, times 5. Again, with surface area, you have chunks, so this one, and then the next one. You get 439.6, multiply the next set, so 2 times 3.14. 4 times 5 times 5 gives you 157. And then you're going to add those two numbers together. And you get a surface area of 596.6 inches squared. Now we move on to volume. Volume formula is V equals AH. Remember, A is pi r squared, so 3.14 times r, which is 5, times 5, and then times H at the end of 14. Type that all in your calculator and you get a volume of 1,099 inches cubed. All right, now is your time to shine. Go ahead and find the volume and the surface area. Please also use the radius, diameter, and height. Um, identify those to help you with figuring out your surface area and volumes. Pause the video and then turn it back on when you think you have your answers. All right, so radius, diameter, and height identified for you. That should have been the first thing to do. Then to find your volume and surface area, um, I'll start with volume. So that was pi times r, so 8 times 8 times 15 would give you 3,014.4 centimeters cubed. Surface area is a bit longer, so you have to take your circumference, which is pi times 16 times 15 plus then 2 times your area, so 2 times 0.14 times 8 times 8, and then you have to chunk it together before you add, and then when you do all of that, you get 1,155.52 centimeters squared. If you got it right, give it a start. If not, try and fix it. This is your end of your video. Thank you watching, please put an American flag in the upper right box that you have there that shows me that you have completed um, your
video fully. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.